today's story is Pete the Cat and the Super Cool Science Fair. I thought it might be nice to first talk about what is science. Science is learning about the world around you. A scientist is someone who studies science. Do you know what you need first in order to be a scientist? You need curiosity. Curiosity means wondering about things. I know you must be curious. You're curious about things you can see, touch, taste, smell, and hear. And things you can't always see, touch, taste, smell, and hear. There are some very important words used by scientists. What? Why? How? I bet you've used those words. How do my ears hear? What does the inside of my ear look like? Why do my ears pop sometimes? And hopefully, as you discover more about the world around you, you will say this word too. Wow! By the way, I was a teacher for 24 years. One of the subjects I taught was science to a class of children who were 11 and 12 years old. Every Friday, I allowed a student to do a science experiment for the class to see. We talked about safety when conducting an experiment. I would have to approve the experiment the student wanted to do to make sure it was safe. Next, I would have the student practice the experiment to make sure of the outcome, you know, what would happen. In today's story, Pete the Cat and the Super Cool Science Fair by Kimberly and James Dean, Pete's teacher is having a science fair and the students get to perform a science experiment. Are you ready for today's story? Pete cannot wait for Friday. His school is having a science fair. Pete has never been a scientist. Now he can try it out. Pete's teacher tells the students they will do experiments in groups. Pete is in a group with Callie, Gus, and Squirrel. Our experiment is going to be groovy, says Pete. What should we do? Let's build a mini submarine, says Callie. Or a giant tree, says Squirrel. Or invent an invisible guitar, says Pete. Why don't we make a volcano, asks Gus. Whoa, they all say. Volcanoes are awesome! The group plans the experiment at Pete's house. His mom brings them snacks. Would any scientists like a cookie, she asks. They all raise their hands. The cookies are warm and gooey. By the way, there's a lot of science involved in baking cookies, and I hope you are curious and wonder more about it. The scientists check the big book of experiments for materials. They need glue, water, newspaper, paint, and a plastic bottle for the volcano. They need vinegar, baking soda, liquid dish soap, and a secret ingredient for the lava. Pete and Gus mix the glue and water. Squirrel and Callie tear the newspaper into strips. They cover the plastic bottle with glue and paper. It looks like a sticky white volcano. Oh no, the paint in the brown bottle is blue. What are we going to do? asks Callie. They can't find brown paint anywhere. That's pretty cool, says Pete. Maybe it's okay that we have a blue volcano. We'll be the only group with a blue volcano, says Squirrel. Let's test the lava so we know the volcano will erupt at the science fair, Pete says. Gus pours baking soda and liquid dish soap into the volcano, and Callie adds vinegar. Nothing happens, at first. All of a sudden, a lot of lava starts coming out. Super cool, says Callie. The team high-five each other, but the lava is still coming out. Soon, it is a huge mess. 
Oh, Mom isn't going to be happy, says Pete. At least the scientists are ready for the fair on Friday. When Pete and his team arrive at the fair, they see all the other groovy experiments. They all look awesome. Grumpy Toad and Octopus grew rock candy in jars. Emma and Marty made slime. We don't stand a chance, says Gus. Don't worry, we have the secret ingredient, says Pete. At the science fair, Pete's teacher loves the blue volcano. Wait till you see it erupt, Pete says. Do you see that Gus is holding something called baking soda? He's put that into the volcano. And do you notice that everyone is wearing something over their eyes? Those are called goggles. Why do you suppose they have those on? The whole class watches Callie pour vinegar into the volcano. A second later, glitter lava gushes out. Everyone cheers. The scientists cheer the loudest. Oh, they put glitter in there too. That's what the secret ingredient was. Science experiments are hard work, says Pete, but being on an awesome team makes them a whole lot easier. And do you see their trophy? It says, coolest experiment at the science fair. Don't forget, safety is very important with science experiments, so don't you ever try one without an adult's permission. Stay curious.